Krista. Happy Hi. New Year. Happy New Year to you too. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Here we are on a cold South Florida day. This is rare and makes us very happy. Mm -hmm. um, I hope your weather is wonderful where you are as well. Um, and hope you had nice holidays and we're off to a wonderful 2019. Goodness gracious. We talked about our topic for today and we wanted to talk about fear. Yeah, so fear, um, it, fear is, takes on so many different um, identities, if you will. I, you know, we started talking fear, fear of heights, fear of, um, fear of falling, fear of flying, all fears, and all legitimate fears. Fear of what the future holds, fear of losing our loved ones, fear of an illness, all legitimate, absolutely. Um, not only legitimate, but we also talked about fear being a positive thing in that sometimes fear is a protection agent. Yeah, there's, there's all different kinds of fears. So fears that we have, uh, some fears I think they say are even innate fears. Um, babies have fears, um, animals have fear, some, m not mine but some have <laughs> 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 fear. <laughs> um, because it's a protection, right? We, we, uh, we have fear of, of danger, um, and, and, and those are good fears. We also have fears of things we can't control, like what Krista mentioned, an uh, 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 illness, um, losing a spouse, um, these are things that we really can't, have no control over. And, and sometimes we get so wallowed in those fears that they hold us back from living in the moment, from living in the day. And I, I was recently talking to somebody who, who suggested drawing a horizontal line and putting above the horizontal line all of the things that you can change, all of the things you can control, and below the horizontal line, the things that you don't have control over. So we can do that with fear, can't we? And, and whatever's below the bottom line, try and send that out to the universe because it's not gonna serve us. Absolutely not. The fears, though, that are above the line are the ones that we need to be focused on because those are the ones that we can address to bring about change. So as we continue to talk about fear, um, both Harry and I are, are avid readers, um, and I was reading some passages to her. Also discussed um, through looking at those passages, also fear as an object, and that fear can stifle us, it can contain us, it can create, if you will, robots of us in that we I fear we're not going to measure up, fear we're going to fail, fear that we have risen to a place um, in our lives or um, in our, our, our careers where we're going to be found out that we're not all that we, we, we think that we are. And I believe you call that the imposter? The imposter syndrome. That, that phrase was coined. I don't know exactly who coined that phrase, but a lot of people suffer from the imposter syndrome. And, and as I've read about it, a lot of women too. And, and when you hear expressions like, fake it until you make it, that goes hand in hand with that. Um, you're not really good enough, so fake it. And then you'll, you'll have experience and you'll get there, and then you make it. And, and some of us, in our heads, we never make it, although it, it's, it's not fair to us because we are good enough. We do achieve the things that we achieve because we've worked for them, because we've studied for them and prepared for them, and, and yet, for some reason, we're still stifled by the imposter syndrome, by thinking, we're not good enough, and if they ever figure out that we're really not good enough, man, are we in trouble. As you 
descri we've described this, and then Harriet said, oh, that's called the imposter syndrome. I said, oh, there's a name for this? That there, somebody's gonna find out, like, why did they give me that position? Um, I was, it, was I really ready for it? Was I really good enough for it? I also had no idea that anybody else was feeling that, least of all, Harriet. Harriet's one of the most accomplished people that I know, and not for one moment did I ever think that she had any of those kinds of fears that I had. And so we think that maybe you guys do too. What are your fears? Do you, I don't wanna say suffer, um, suffer's not the word, but do you have that imposter syndrome um, idea about yourself? Is it something that you didn't think anybody else had? Talk to us, let us know. What are, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, and, and, and maybe you've gotten through that career. Whew, you never figured it out, and I still got through that I career. I got through that one. <laughs> or, you know, all those things that you wanted to accomplish, and you accomplished them, and now here we are in this new part of our lives, uncharted waters, new territory, and is that old imposter syndrome coming back at us again? Um, oh, cool, now you've got time on your hands, but you're still not good enough. Well, it takes a lot of work, but I wanna say that Krista is really good enough, and I'm good enough too, and... Um, and you're good enough. So let's continue to be good enough and move into the new year with good enough and let's not be finished. Oh, I like that. That's a great resolution. Uh -huh. We're good enough. We're good enough. We're good enough. We'll see you next time. <laughs>